everybody, welcome to RPM, Rock and Pop Mandolin, your destination for learning classic rock songs on the Mando. My name is Mike DeJong, and I'm here to take you back to the 1970s to Imagine by John Lennon, one of his biggest solo hits, if not his biggest solo hit. Um, it's a great song to play on the mandolin. It's really fun, and if you've never tried it because you didn't think it would work as a piano song going to mandolin, well, now's your chance to try it. And that's what I hope to do on this website. I've shown you uh, some guitar songs already on this website that work nicely for mandolin. Well, how about some keyboard songs as well? Piano songs like Imagine. So I'm going to give you a great lesson here on how to play all the parts for this great song from the 1970s. Stay tuned and we'll dive right in in a moment. But first, don't forget to subscribe to RPM Rock and Pop Mandolin if you want to see more classic rock lessons for the Mando in the coming weeks. The subscribe button is right down there, that little red button on, this, on your screen. You can also subscribe down below as well. So without further ado, let's dive into Imagine by John Lennon. Okay, we've zoomed in on the mandolin for John Lennon's Imagine, a really fun song to play on this instrument. Once again, it comes from the piano. The original version is done on the piano. I'm going to try and do it as close to the original as I can, but it won't be exact, obviously, because of different voicings on different instruments. So keep that in mind. But on the mandolin, it works really nicely, and I'll show you what I mean. So we're starting in the key of C, but I'm starting with a very unusual C voicing, and I'll show you that in a minute. Let's just take a look at the opening uh, motif of Imagine. It starts off here. Okay, so that's all done in the key of C, but I'm using a different sort of uh, C voicing. Rather than the usual C voicings that you normally have on the mandolin, I'm putting my pinky uh, right here on the G note. And then underneath that, I'm putting my ring finger on the C note. So the pinky goes on the G note, fifth fret of the second string here like that. And then right underneath it, you put your ring finger, and that gives you a couple of notes from the C chord that you can use in this song. Works really nicely because that's what John Lennon is doing with the piano. He's hitting a G note down to the low C of his left hand. That gives you sort of a bass, a root note to work from to play the rest of this motif. And I'll show you what I mean here. You start off with this So there you have, you're hitting the G and the C notes. And then just briefly for one beat, you hit this B note, which is on the A string right here, second fret of the A string. And that actually gives you, you know, if you want uh, the theory behind it, it gives you a nice C major seven sound in this riff briefly because the B is the major seven of, of the C scale. Right, so we're doing that, and then from the B, we're going to the open A, played in an F chord, starting uh, with your finger, your ring finger again on that C note, and um, then the next string, you're at the third fret here, which is an F note, and then your first finger is on the first string at the first fret for another F note. So here's what I'm doing here, very slowly. G to C, B, A. That's an F chord with that A note. All right, and that little chromatic riff is pretty cool as well. You can play that while maintaining the rest of the notes in the chord, on that F chord, so try to Try to have that F chord ring out, or at least this bass note, this C note here as your root. Try to keep your finger there and keep that note ringing out while you're doing... So that riff is just played on the A string from open A, first fret, 
second fret, all right? But what I try to do here is slide my fingers because again, I've got that low C anchored with my ring finger. So I'm trying to slide this with just one finger, just using your pointer finger on the A string. And then you want to come down again to the pinky on the G note like this. You see how that works? Right? So that gives you the opening motif to John Lennon's Imagine. All right, the next part of John Lennon's Imagine comes um, after that opening motif, and I guess you could call it a pre-chorus, and it comes from the F. So I'll show you how that works. Starting with the opening part again, we go. Then you stay on the F to A minor, to D minor, back to F to G. I add those last two little touches there on that G note, but those chords, again, are F, A minor, D minor, F again, and G. I've got a high little G voicing there. So one more time from the opening motif into that pre-chorus. We got... All right, let's do the pre-chorus. F, A minor, D minor, F, G. And there you have the pre-chorus part to imagine. And the chorus part starts with the F. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one, right? So what I'm doing there is I'm going from the F to a G chord to a C and then that that B note again the C major 7 right very quickly right so you're going F to G and then all right and the next chord you're hitting is an E and then an E7 chord all right the E voicing I'm using here is right down at the bottom of the mando neck it's the first fret of the G string, second fret of the D string, second fret of the A string, right? Your standard E chord. And then you take off this finger, your middle finger, your rude finger, as I call it, on this note to create an E seventh voicing with this D string open for the seventh note. So once again from the F it goes, you may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the and you can add that little pattern right at the end which is just the low G to A to B to C and catching this high C so with that C chord voicing. All right, that's John Lennon's Imagine reinterpreted for the mandolin. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for tuning in to RPM Rock and Pop Mandolin. Once again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to help us grow this channel into something where you can get lots of classic rock lessons on mandolin every month. I'm Mike DeJong. Thanks very much for watching.